Hello everyone, I'm Rebecca and welcome back to my sewing room. Today we are actually leaving the sewing room because I am taking you along with me to Emerald City Comic Con in Seattle, Washington, which happened just this last weekend. You might be able to tell I am slowly regaining the use of my voice from kind of losing it this weekend. I had such a fun time and I wanted to take you along with me for the ride. So I vlogged the whole weekend. You're gonna see a lot of super, super awesome cosplays and and speaking of those cosplays and cosplayers, if you are in this video or you recognize someone who is in this video and they are not tagged down in the description below, please do let me know who that cosplay is or what that cosplay is and what their name is, like their Instagram handle, because I really want to make sure that I credit everyone, but I just didn't get that information from most people while I was filming. So I'm going to tag as many people as I know, but I would love your help in helping me tag everyone else as well and give credit to all of these absolutely wonderful cosplays. So it's a super, super awesome weekend. Without any further ado, let's lose this red hair, turn myself blonde, and dive into all of the great costumes and all of the great fun from this weekend at Emerald City Comic Con. Hello everyone! We have just arrived kind of at Comic Con. We have arrived out of the Comic Con parking garage or the parking garage that we found and have to find the actual building. But we are here and I've got Barbie with me. I'm all decked out in my new Barbie dress and we are going to go find the actual Comic Con and get our vaccine check wristband things and find the rest of the group and it's going to be so much fun. So I'm taking you along today with me to all of Emerald City Comic Con so that you can see everything that's going on at this con. And I'm super excited. We'll be here three days. Today's Friday. We're going to be here again on Saturday where I'll be Cinderella in the cos cosplay competition. And then Sunday I'm planning on trotting out Elsa for a different cosplay competition. So I'm super excited. This is actually the only con that I've ever been to. I've only ever been to Emerald City. So I'm probably like a little spoiled in that regard. I've heard it's one of the best in the country. And I'm just really excited to take you along with me. So uh, I will see you very soon when we actually get into the con itself. shooting everyone looks so Isolation 
shine and it looks like I'm the queen. So this is the end of Comic-Con day one. I will see you guys tomorrow when I am wearing Cinderella. We are here for Emerald City Comic-Con day two. And today I am Cinderella. I've even got my matching Cinderella backpack. And I will be using this to compete in the costume competition later. And I'm excited and super nervous because I've never done that before. So we'll see how that goes. But I have my little bird to keep me company. And I'm super, super excited for everything today. And I also want to show you what Rachel and what Emily are wearing because they're super cute and dressed up too. So now we're going to turn the camera around since Rachel's holding the camera right now. Look how cute Rachel is. She's a Hufflepuff. Show us, your, show us your robes and your uniform and everything. I've got the tie and everything. Nice. Very well accessory, accessorized. Very cute. Look how cute Emily looks. And her skirt lights up. How awesome. Give us some spins. Spin. Aw. She's like a Christmas 50s princess. I love it. Train Your Dragon also drew a heavy amount of inspiration from Astrid's costume in the later movies. Uh oh, there we go. The gown is fully lined with sea beat, sleeping brain era underpinnings, spiral steel bolt tat corset, and cotton chemise underneath. Glittery cotton bloomers and a cage crinoline top with two pedicated coats to hide the hoops. A treasure room scene to capture the sound and feeling the spawn emerging from the piles of coins. Say no to Scrunchy's cosplay attached hundreds of coins and jewels all over the bodice and the headdress. Now the headdress is crafted from EVA foam and foam clay. Now the cosplay was modified to support the weight of all the LED work and it took about nine months including soldering and programming of LEDs, custom cold water dip dyeing of the silk, hand painting the fabric, rhinestone laying, wig styling, and armor crafting. There were no one prints like Gaston, no one preens like Gaston, no one's hips as incredibly obscene as Gaston. As a specimen, yes, I'm intimidating, my what a bride, that Gaston. Historical cosplay.
customer with a great love for the 1830s. When several friends were planning to make historical Disney costumes, she decided to make this costume on the spur of the moment and did it on a budget. Now the fabric is all poly matte satin, and she spent about a month putting it all together, patterning it, sewing it all together, trimming it with lots of lace, and all the bows made of light pink satin. The handmade undergarments include an 1830s corded corset, corded petticoat, ruffled petticoat, and drawers. And she also styled the wig, made the necklace, and painted the little prop bird helper. Everyone. Then they will fear her. Bow before the queen of the broken hearted, or become a corpse along my path to the throne. My sister can keep her simple subjects. I will have an army of devoted followers who fear my power. This creation from our shield maiden embodies the thriftiness of historically based cosplay and the fun of the Hamilton Broadway musical. Now, our shield maiden believes that cosplay should be for everyone and uses her skills to bring her favorite strong characters to life so that others can be inspired to creatively pursue their own passions. Hello, Emerald City. Well, hello, cosplayers. It's so nice. As Spider's associate from Destiny 2, it's Woo! Lily B. Cosplay! That's you! As the Dungeons and Dragon Bard, it's Ginger Armadillo Costumes! The big one, again, representing you guys, representing the Emerald City Comic Con in August at C2E2 in Chicago. Please put your hands together for our winner, the Honest Cosplayer as Queen Xenomorph. has just ended and everyone was amazing. The winner, like, so well deserved. Oh my gosh. If I know links to things, I will try to leave them down below, but I don't really know who people's names were for the most part. So yeah, I'll try to link as much as possible. But we are closing out the day now. We're gonna go ahead home and I've gotta get Elsa ready for tomorrow. And we are pooped. So good night, everyone. I will see you tomorrow. It's Emerald City Comic Con day three and I am 1890s also today. You're hitting people. <laughs> As I almost kill people with my train. And I'm very excited. We haven't done half of the exhibition floor yet, so we're gonna do that. And we are also, or I'm going to compete in the showcase today. And we'll see how that goes.
They all have won something, but we don't know what it is yet. There's one that we can figure out <laughs> based on the fact that there's a best group cosplay. <laughs> Only one group up here. Hey, judges, tell me about your pick. So Black Betty, you're up first. You have $100 to give away to your favorite. Who was your favorite today? So my favorite, because I'm a sucker for tailoring, had just a really nicely made piece, just lovely detail. Um, I also am a sucker, sucker for period um, interpretations of costumes. Um, and that is Lady Rebecca Fashions is Elsa. Yeah! <laughs> also very good at karaoke, if you did not know that. <laughs> I did not know that. Yeah, it's really good. I'm pretty sure she sang Let It Go. She did. <laughs> right? Yeah, you sang Let It Go? Yep. Very on theme. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Bib's eye. So my favorite is because, again, detail. Just, I love the detail. I love the bill. I just love how it functions, even though it's a giant looking thing. So my favorite is Little Devil Cosplay. I just love you. Woo! down in Creative Studios. All right, my choice. I fell in love with this as soon as this person said that they made their fabric on their costume because that is near and dear to my heart when you go that extra mile to get use something that you find in the house and you combine it with material that is kind of an unusual combination of things but you make it work. I love the ingenuity and I love the thought behind it. And the whole costume is just a, so impressive, and I just love all of your work. Emily Rose as Astrid. Congratulations! That's all yarn on her, on her shirt. It's yarn. It's amazing. And on her band race, it's just so beautiful. Yes, always take a look at cosplay up close because you never know it. The, the, it's all in the details, man. Hey, our best group cosplay. Y'all know who you are. You're the land group standing up here. <laughs> Cable and Domino from X Men. Good job. Woo! Which I wonder who our best in show is going to be. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, put your hands together for Jenny as the Captain America ball gown. Woo! One more time, thank you all so very much for joining us here at the Cosplay Central Cosplay Showcase. We hope you had a fantastic afternoon. One more time, do me a favor, make some noise for everybody backstage. Thank you so much. Just gotten home after the final day of Emerald City Comic Con, and it's uh, only like about 6:30 now, but I feel so exhausted. So I'm very excited to take all of this off. But I wanted to close out the vlog here. I can't believe that I was one of the judges' choices for the cosplay showcase. That was really, really exciting, and I feel like that was the competition probably that I should have entered this year for my first time and then maybe for the future thought about like the big one because I didn't know what I was doing but overall I did have a lot of fun. One thing though that I have realized about this weekend is that's really made me miss costume college. I feel like with Comic-Con it's really cool seeing like all of the cosplays and I love the artists alley but pretty much the rest of it doesn't really appeal that much to me whereas with costume college of course everything appeals to me. I absolutely love it. So I cannot wait for Costume College, the end of next July, I think it is, and then the next Comic-Con will be in August, and I will be excited to return for that as well. Who knows what I'll be wearing? I don't know what I'm going to make by then. So anyway, I had a lot of fun this weekend. I hope that you guys enjoyed the vlog. Thank you so much for coming along with me. If you liked this video, please go ahead and click the thumbs up icon. And if you'd like to see more videos like this from me, please go ahead and click subscribe and the little bell icon to be notified every time I post a new video. I do post videos here on YouTube twice a week with my sewing vlogs out on Tuesdays and other costuming content like this out on Saturdays. But I post every day over on my Instagram, so please go follow me on Instagram. That's at Lady Rebecca Fashions. And if you'd like to help support all of the work that I do on this channel, I do have a link to my Patreon and my Ko-fi down in the description below. I'd also like to give a special shout out to my Edwardian level patrons, Sharon and Julie. Thank you all so, so much for joining me today. Have a wonderful week, and I will see you very soon in my next video. Happy sewing!